Memory continues to be the single biggest category for Corsair, accounting for 429 million in revenue last year. So let's cover the specs to get a better feel of what they offer. Carefully screened ICs for extended overclocking potential with improved thermal conductivity for superb memory cooling, even when overclocked. Powerful Corsair ICU software brings your system to life with dynamic RGB lighting control, freely customized dozens of preset lighting profiles, maximum bandwidth and tight response times optimized for peak performance on the latest Intel and AMD DDR4 motherboards. Custom Performance PCB provides the highest signal quality for the greatest level of performance and stability. Now the specs have been covered in two minutes, we need to cover the all important review. The DRAM kit is available from 2666 MHz and goes all the way up to 4400 MHz. I'm covering a detailed test done on the 3000 MHz option with the particular variant striking the ideal balance between value and performance. Let's take a look at what the Vengeance RGB Pro has to offer and why it is the ideal DRAM for your next RGB build. The Vengeance RGB Pro series is available in a dizzying array of configuration options. Corsair sells the DDR4 memory in 8GB, 16GB and 32GB variants and offers kits that go all the way up to 200 256 gigs. I'm using a 32 gigabyte kit that consists of four 8 gigabyte DRAM modules clocked at 3000 megahertz. CL15 is the model. The 32 gigabyte memory kit hits the sweet spot for most builds. As a result, Corsair has a wealth of options including a base 2666 megahertz CL16 configuration going all the way up to a 4400 megahertz CL18 variant. There are two points to consider when picking up a DRAM module. The first is the speed. A DRAM module with a 3000 megahertz or 3600 megahertz frequency is usually a better choice over a 2600 megahertz option, but you'll have to make sure that the Intel or AMD CPU that you're using can take advantage of those speeds. If you have a Ryzen 5 series or above or are using an Intel 8th gen core CPU and above, you should be fine. CAS latency is one part of a broader set of numbers that correspond to memory timing. For the 32GB Vengeance Pro module I'm testing, those figures look like this, 15, 17, 15, 35. The first number is the CAS latency and that has the biggest impact on performance. Now that you have a high level overview of how DRAM works, let's look at the Vengeance Pro. Corsair was one of the first brands to go all in on RGB lighting and the Vengeance Pro is available with black and white heat spreaders made out of aluminum. There is a light bar that runs across the length of the DRAM module and the textured matte finish looks great. DRAM with a 2666MHz frequency should be more than enough for most use cases, but considering the the minor difference in cost between the 2666 MHz and the 3000 at the 3200 MHz, you're better off choosing either of the latter options. The other point to note when choosing RAM is the latency. You'll see a CL number against each module. On to our conclusion, the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro DDR4 3200 kit we tested here stood well with great aesthetics and a good overclocking headroom. The Corsair ICU software offers great lighting control for these memory kits. And if you have other Corsair RGB products in your build, then you will be very delighted with the RGB control and synchronization capabilities offered by the Corsair ICU software package. We managed to overclock the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro DDR4 kit up to 4200 MHz with total system stability and increase in system performance. To round off my point, if you are going for a RGB lighting in your build and looking for a great 3200 MHz DDR4 kit that offers great RGB lighting control via ICU you software. If you're interested, check out my other PC related videos. Take it easy guys. Happy PC building.